Hello Scorpios and welcome to your April reading. To begin, I would like to tell uh, every one of you uh, that I am sending you my love and light for the ones of you that are dealing with this virus, dealing with it because you are suffering or because you are supporting somebody or because you are quarantined at home and being conscious about uh, what is happening. It is a crucial time and it is a time that is going to show who we truly are. So, on this, I want to send you all my love and light. Okay, <clears throat> so, for the month of April, I meditated on your energy, Scorpio, and I pulled down the first layer of cards. What spirit wants to talk to you about? Like the energies that you might deal with uh, during this month of April. First card out, I have the chariot. There it is. So, chariot, right away, it's a very um, fast forward card on many levels. If we read it on a basic pentacle level, then the chariot is m literal movement. Like you are, uh, that's why it can be a car, you're actually moving from one place to another. On a spiritual level, this is uh, more of um, aligning oneself, our unconscious and our conscious, and moving forward with something. Um, <clears throat> the chariot is inspired. He has a crown of, with a star on it. And when we are aligned, we are not against the current anymore. We are free-flowing and that's why there's a speed, a momentum happening at the same time here. But we have to be aligned. If not, it is chaotic. This is something, if I look under, I have the Seven of Wands and I have the Knight of Wands. So what triggered this movement forward for a lot of you, it is something that you wanted that you are willing to defend and that you are extremely passionate about and it was almost like a yes let's do this now you know after that I have six of wands king of cups and the four of wands so this is beautiful this is um, like that it is six of wands it's the recognition of uh, our, who we are, you know, the, uh, from the others and from us also. Uh, coming back from war, having learned a lesson, we come back wiser, we're not carrying uh, anything from our past, we are welcomed home. So this is like a balanced ego. So it is not pride, it is just a recognition of our value, of our worth, of what we've went through and what we stand for. King of Cups, that's you. It's your masculine side, so that means in your actions there's that recognition of oneself and that uh, with the Four of Wands um, in joy, in wanting to erect something, in celebration, knowing oneself, it talks about home also because the Four of Wands is the home and sometimes it is the body also uh, because the body is the home of the soul so it is all of that uh, inside that strong emotional grounded recognition of oneself and will to celebrate and erect so and after that I have the page of sword that tells me that from that process there's a knowledge that will come uh, that you will uh, hear about or uh, grab yourself because it can be coming from an ace of sword that you are grabbing and kind of walking in this new path maybe the new path that the chariot is going to bring you to 
under our king of uh, cups I have the lovers so that tells me that this is a choice this is a choice that you are making that is going to have an impact long-term impact and um, also uh, on the path of uh, ascension there's a little mountain here in the back under our page of sword I have the Pope so the Pope will put in 3D uh, the reflection of your spirituality of your connection to your soul uh, this is establishment this is uh, government religion all of this so this is uh, really um, something that will have an impact and where it will take place in the 3D world, let's say, um, our matrix here, our reality in society opening up because the Pope has the, the capacity to give the keys to open doors to establish something it is discernment it is all of these things law morality so there you go this choice you are making is going to have an impact on your 3d world right away and under our lovers I have the wheel of fortune so of course this choice here because there's going to be a fast movement for some of you a fast movement and of course this will move the wheel of fortune and uh, the wheel of fortune will ascend you uh, not ascend you but rise the circumstances of your uh, conditions it's the law of the divine it's the law of God if you understand um, you see that page of sword here here it is on top of the wheel of fortune the sphinx has a sword if you understand a bit the riddle of the sphinx and by understanding why our conditions are like that we can make a decision and uh, rise our consciousness to a new set of experiences uh, wheel of fortune under uh, the Pope here I have the five of pentacle so that tells me that the ones of you that will have understood the five of pentacle in their lives that's the lack mentality um, not feeling that we are enough we know enough um, we can make it sacrificing oneself all of the five of pentacle being left out in the cold and not being supported by the universe by the people around us and all of that if you carry this uh, in you then you will not have understood uh, the lessons before starting your uh, chariot if this is in one of these horse uh, sphinx here then your chariot is going to go in two different um, directions but if you understood it then it is the overcoming of this then it would be reversed here so let's clarify this for Scorpios and uh, of course since not all Scorpios are the same some of you will live the final success and recognition you deserve after all of your hard work and others might live uh, the reflection of what they are holding on as a belief inside of them so let's see this reading for Scorpios for the month of April okay chariot chariot 
Why is the chariot here for Scorpios? Why is the chariot here for Scorpios? King of Sword. It's a decision. This is a sound decision that was made to move forward with something that you are passionate about. Okay, show me the King of Cups here. King of Cups and the Six of Wands. So we have the Page of Sword and we have the World and that is beautiful. So what you have understood here about maybe your Five of uh, Pentacles uh, for some of you. This is like um, I got the clarity and I'm finishing that cycle because now I am recognizing myself. I feel I am emotionally sound and grounded. Uh, that is beautiful. Let's see the Page of Sword. This is a balanced ego, um, emotionally sound, balanced ego. Page of Sword, a bit what you understood is to leave that old baggage behind. And to go for that higher vibration of the Ace of, of Cups and uh, things like that. Here, under the moon, inside of yourself. I have the, the uh, Emperor with that. And that's your masculine. That's, this is uh, what I want my life to look like, to be like. And I am going to take charge. I'm going to leave my past emotional baggage, which probably had this inside, and take charge of my life. That's beautiful. Ace of Wands. This is like, yes, you know, that fire that moves us, that all of a sudden maybe we didn't, you know, from a slumber to a passionate movement forward kind of thing, you know? Yeah, okay. Seven of Wands. What is the Seven of Wands here for Scorpios? Okay, the Ten of Swords wanted to come out. And that can be fine, you know, like I'm tired of suffering uh, mentally of how the swords, because uh, you do have the King of Swords there with your chariot, of, of finally understanding the mental. Um, aspects of how beliefs affect our lives how why we got betrayed and all of that that dark night of the soul uh, we get out of it when we take responsibility for it when we recognize our part in it through our beliefs through our baggage and all of that and then taking control of it and that would be now I see this is what I want to go forward and I am not going down that hill Seven of uh, Wands. Seven of Wands for Scorpios. Knight of Sword. So yes, you do get it. And it is, it, there's that um, going forward with a vengeance almost here. This is where I'm going, and we are not falling back. Uh, we are moving forward kind of thing, you know? That assertiveness. I understood something, and I'm moving forward. Show me the lovers, and there is that choice here. By getting that understanding, you finish the cycle, the world. Queen of Pentacles. There it is. Queen of Pentacles. 
So the Queen of Pentacles with the Lovers, you're basing, and here the Page of Pentacles, uh, you're basing your choice on the fact that you know that you have what it takes to move forward with that choice. We can make it. I can make it. I have what it takes. I have the confidence and the means to do it. Like that. The Pope. Oop. Two of Cups. The Pope will bring you the mirrors that are going to reflect who you are. So, like I was saying, the ones of you that really got it here, uh, that finished a past cycle of this, uh, the Pope will open the door, attract towards you, make you meet uh, the people that are going to help you through that change, through that movement forward that you are doing. Um, if it's a career move, um, attracting towards you uh, the clients, the jobs, and the things that are going to be a reflection of the waters that you have in your cup. So if it is a balanced water like this, with a six of wands and a four of wands, the fire in the water, um, this uh, makes, uh, because this makes grounded, very grounded, but water that can elevate, you know, like like uh, like steam. It has the energy in it. It has the f the fire in it. Not a, not too much to uh, evaporate it, but enough to make it move. And so here, sharing, you're going to meet people that actually meet you there. So that is beautiful. The Pope and the Two of Cups. If for some of you, it was more on a relationship level. Well, there the Pope, which is the counterpart of our High Priestess, if you remember. High Priestess connection to our soul. The Pope puts it in the 3D world, opens the door, um, you know, makes things um, pretty much solid there. So here that would be bringing you uh, someone that would be uh, there solid for you, that would not abandon you or show you you're not enough. Because here you see you're making the choice based on the fact that you know you are enough. So, of course, some of you, this is all up or, uh, upright. Others of you, uh, if you haven't done that exercise, then here can be uh, tricky. But uh, since it appears now during the month, it is your chance to actually make that work during the month. Here, judgment rising your vibration and understanding that aspect show me the knight of wands seven of cups so going from and here is the choice the lovers going from maybe you know when things are there's a lot of projects but we don't know uh, can this work? Uh, is that person good? Is that person not good? My emotion and my mental are all intertwined and foggy. So, the Knight of Wands in that aspect, which is a very strong fire, will actually dissipate all that fog of the Seven of Cups. And ground it in the here and now. Well, this is what I want here and now. So I'm going from dreaming to being in action. Will of Fortune. Because I'm making a choice. Because I'm doing, I'm making an inspired choice. Not a choice from a, a ego that wants to be flattered. A choice from a balanced ego of knowing who I am. Okay, Will of Fortune. Will of Fortune. Okay, it's 
So we have a bit of the Two of Swords, but that is because um, this is going to happen during the month of April for a lot of you. For so, <coughs> for some of you, this is still in the process. That inner decision of what is my truth? Is this my truth? Or is this my truth? Here I have the King of Wands. So the Knight of Wands, King of Wands, that is beautiful. That tells me that for the Wheel of Fortune to turn, you have to take that passion, that fire inside of you and master it. Take the risk. Go for it as a businessman would go. Um, not as a, a, a dreamer, but as a grounded here now businessman would do. And with it, I have the Knight of Pentacle. So it's not just here now and gone tomorrow. It ha it is going to be something that will need to be uh, that have an engagement in. So that means to be invested every day and to check every day that we do our you know our due diligence. That's the Knight of Pentacle. It will not maybe be a fast uh, outcome right away. But it is a sure one. And if you do it like that, that would make 5 plus 6, then uh, five, 5 plus 1, then 6, then you would actually receive from what you are doing. Let's look at the 5 of Pentacle here. So, making the decision to engage yourself in a process um, that might involve taking a risk, but you know that what you will put in will be reflected uh, to you back by the Pope here in the Two of Cups. Okay, so with this, we have the High Priestess and the King of Cups. So that tells me that here, the sole lesson that uh, is going to be shown to you in the month of April, uh, the stability, the soundness of your King of Cups here, directly linked with your High Priestess, who is directly linked with your Pope here. So in a way, you are going to see if you have taken care of that, if what is presented to you uh, as a mirror out there in the world is positive or negative. So um, it is directly linked to your spiritual path. It is going to be directly linked to um, the soundness of and the balance of your ego. Six of Wands of what you understand if you are aligned uh, on your unconscious and your conscious is aligned um, the recognition of oneself is not just tapping ourselves on the shoulders um, and saying yes you're good it's it's recognizing all the parts of us and bringing our consciousness in them uh, the laurel around the world card is around his head and around that stick that says that the outside people that are holding the stick here and him are wearing the, the laurel they both um, what has been understood in the lesson the vibration of that the world here is recognized outside and inside it is mirrored that's why we call it recognition so in a way um, that's why when we pull that in the daily world uh, somebody will have a promotion it can happen for a lot of you but we get a promotion once we have finished our cycle of where we were before and that we are ready to move forward we carry the understanding and it is seen outside also. That is that mirror effect. So there it is. You're in the process of this. 
And so when I say it's not just tapping ourselves on the shoulders and saying, uh, yes, I am worth it and all of that, it is embracing also our wounds uh, because he does come back from war, um, but not um, letting them hinder us, but them having done their purpose, we embrace them in the light and we can move on. Um, and what used to bring us confusion will be left in the past. Now there's only a certitude and a solidity. That is a bit what this process is about. Uh, a lot of you maybe are making that change and going into the unknown and that's why this one can come up. Maybe there'll be nothing for me there. Maybe I'll be left out in the cold. I'm making that big step here, that big change. I feel I have it inside of me to make it. But how am I going to be received? It is going to be the mirror of your inner work and your inner emotions. So, there it is. Uh, it's in your hands, Scorpio. Um, I would write... Um, I would call this big move. Let's call it like that. So, an outer move, an inner move, but a big move. All right? So, on this, I'm going to send you all my love and light. And thank you for sharing. Subscribe, please. Uh, like and, sh and, and all of that. I read the comments. Uh, it touches my heart. Um, private readings the description is written right below in the plus section and apart from that uh, thank you for all of you that gave donations on the new moon and the full moon I do a ceremony to give you back and on this my beautiful Scorpios I'm gonna see you next month and until then namaste and take care of you okay bye bye